Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chak Wadash, the bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. The salutation and much love to you, brother, sincere Akim, out there pushing out this word and truth and sincerity. <clears throat> and I want to do a quick video um, about a dream or a vision, I, what I believe to be a vision from Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, of the upcoming destruction that's going to take place here in America. Okay. And uh, the dream it actually reminded me of this movie, which I'll have the clip playing in the back um, of the movie Red Dawn, the invasion scene. All right, when the when the Koreans start coming in with the planes and whatnot. All right, so but pretty much the, the, I'll uh, go into the dream, and then I'll bring out some precepts, or as well as edifying. <clears throat> but pretty much, it. Uh, the dream took place here in Tampa. I was in, it looked like the city. I was in, it looked like somewhere in downtown. And, um, I was at, uh, some kind, I don't know exactly what the building was. I was at a building or a balcony, some kind of balcony. And, um, we, I hear some jets going by. You know, so I look up to the sky and there's two jets. They're flying super low. I'm talking about under the building type shit. Like the, the the tallest building in the city was higher than the those the jets were, and they go by, you know, and then they come back around, or what I thought was the same jets. There's another two jets come back, but really it was there were different jets, and then all of a sudden multiple jets. I'm talking about I can I can't even count I couldn't even count them. They come, and they start dropping bombs, you know, shooting torpedoes and and shooting their 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 bullets, you know, lighting up the city. And shit starts exploding, you know, wrecking, I'm just talking about, they're wrecking the shit, and then everybody starts to run into the streets, everybody's panicking, and then I, I run out there, and uh, I see one of the brothers from the camp, uh, in, the, in this camp, my young, he's out there, we, we link up, and then uh, I whip out my phone, start recording it, you know, the missiles blowing shit up, and then, and I start uploading it to the YouTube and I I remember I entitled it um, "Missile Strike in Tampa" or sub something along those lines. Missile strikes Tampa, Florida, or some shit. And then uh, you know people are freaking the hell out. Me and my young start to look uh, for somewhere to hide, you know, because shit's getting blown up around us. People getting lit up with bullets from the jets, all kinds of shit. So we end up going in this one building. And uh, we some we somehow make our way through the whole building and out through the front door. And uh, at that time, the, the 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 barrage of missiles or the attack, so to say, it, it uh, ceased. There were their jets weren't were nowhere to be seen anymore. But all you know, shit's blowing up still, you know, because it's on fire and whatnot. People panicking and screaming. And then uh, we go outside again, and then we see more warplanes. Like you'll see in this video, the clip from the movie Red Dawn, we see more uh, those planes coming, and then people start coming down on parachutes. I'm talking about they're everywhere, okay. And they, as they're coming down, they're shooting motherfuckers. You know, as they get closer to the ground, they're starting to shoot people. Okay, so me and my young, we uh, we start running up this alley, so to say. You know, and uh, meanwhile, people literally next to us are, are dropping dead like flies, you know, and the Lord was preserving us or protecting us. But um, we like, you know, something, something had happened. And, and I think I think we had ended up killing one of the soldiers or some shit. You know, we put him down and uh, I took his pistol and then my young head ran up. He kept running and uh, he hid in this one spot right next to where, where a couple of the soldiers were were at shooting our way. You know, and, and I, uh, had, since I had the pistol, I had took cover, and I started capping them niggas, and I, and I killed a few of them, and then my young, I think he ended up getting a, an assault rifle or something, you know, and then um, it was weird. He, we we he, he we ran back together, and we were taking cover in this one spot, and um, all of a sudden, right before I wake up, somebody comes up right over us, and he says. He says, see, these these are the guys we've been looking for, or something along those lines. These are the guys we've been looking for. We need these, we need guys like this. And then that's when I woke up. 
I think I don't know exactly who it was. It, it, I think it was a soldier or something. But you know, that's why I, I remember these are the guys we're looking for. We need guys like this, and then that's when I wake up. But you know, it was it was a spiritual dream, man, because it's, it's it's showing what, how America is gonna be invaded. You know, and and that's what's coming here to the shores of America. Okay, great great horrible tribulation is coming to the to America. All right, the un the city of unwalled villages is gonna be raped. You're gonna have these foreign nations, all right, the UN troops, the Russian troops, North Korean troops, whatever the case may be. You're gonna have them invade America. All right, all right, second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And who's walking in great pride? These Amer these everyday Americans, you know, because of uh, uh, the dream right up before the, the jets started flying over and blowing shit up. Everybody was just walking around doing what they do, shopping and having a good old jolly time. You know, just being prideful demons. But what when when all hell breaks loose, everyone's gonna be in, in fear. Cause they're not gonna know what's happening. And you know, even in the dream, you know, obviously missiles start to blow shit up around you and jets flying. You're gonna be you know, whether you know this truth or not, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna be shook up, all right? So yeah, even in the dream we were shook up, but as soon as the spirit took over, we knew, we knew what to do. We started maneuvering, ended up getting guns, put niggas down, you know, the spirit took over. But that's how it's going to be in that day. You know, you're going to have to let the spirit uh, guide you where you need to do and where you need to be. All right. That's why knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of the times, knowledge of what's happening. All right. Knowledge of these scriptures and, and who to trust in, who to have faith in yet, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So these people, they're going to be losing their fucking minds like chicken with no head running around getting blown up and, and and put to death because they don't have no faith they don't have no guide okay and that's what's going to separate us from them in that day and it's going to be made evident who the lord's dealing with <clears throat> all right revelation 12 and 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's talking about Esau coming hard in these last days. So when he starts to send his military troops, because I believe it, they were Russians for some reason, I don't know why, but I think it was the Russians, you know, in that drink in the vision. But um they're they're not more than Edomites, all right? They're Russian speaking Edomites. So they're gonna come down with great wrath upon the, you 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 Americans. Because of the hatred they have for you. All right, the whole world really hates America, but all right, really the, the Lord is going to allow Esau to come down upon you Israelites with great wrath because it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. And that's and America being invaded is part of time, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. <clears throat> all right, in the midst of civil war, race wars, whatever, you know, there's going to be an invasion here in America. All right, where they're going to start kicking ass and taking names, putting a lot of niggas to death. All right, and then and then the nukes come, whatever, whatever, the, however the Lord has it set up. You can best you best believe you got an invasion coming in on the streets to America. All right, because this is the only place. That's why it's, it's called the old virgin daughter of Babylon. It's the only place that haven't been molested by an invasion or a, a, an attack. All right, and you can't say nine eleven, all right, because that was inside job anyway. And Pearl Harper was was that's a bunch of crap too, but. That was not on the mainland anyway, and they didn't invade, they just dropped bombs on it. But that was the kind of bombings they were they were doing, you know, in their in their in their fighter jets in the dream. Alright, but uh this is second address fifteen fifteen. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Alright, so what is the sword? It's an instrument of death. Alright, and the destruction draweth nigh, and that's what that's what I seen in the dream, man. Death and destruction. People getting lit up, buildings being blown up. Whole city was in wreckage, and then they invaded. And then after they do the sweep, all right, that's usually how they do an invasion. They do the sweep, drop some bombs, and then they send in the troops. All right, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, and, they, and that's going to be literally ra a, leading up from the race wars. Okay, the civil war that's going to happen here in, the, in America, which is already brewing up. All right, the stage is being set for a civil, another civil war. But what that that invasion is going to be? Uh, uh, people standing up against each other, man. One nation against another nation. 
All right, is, is uh, Matthew 24 says, one, one nation against another nation, kingdom against kingdom. That's what's coming, all right? It's going to be in the midst of World War III because America, all right, America is not going to go untouched again like in World War One and World War II where, where nothing happened to America, really, all right, except for Pearl Harbor. But that, you know, it's going to be on the streets of America, a, a local town near you, all right, in the major cities, all the major cities. Right, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. So, so not not just your neighbors going to be invading you. You're going to have nations invading each other. All right, going behind enemy lines, dropping bombs. All right, inserting uh, um, soldiers into other nations. Okay. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in, their, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A, a man shall desire to go into a city and she shall not be able to. So, hey, when that, when they block off the cities, okay, martial law, all right, and when, hey, because, hey, uh, Russia or somebody, you know, China, they can take over a whole state and allow nobody to come in or out, you know, and they, and they, they have whole, a stronghold there or whatever. Hey, it's, it's going to happen, man. It's, it's part of war, and that is, it's, it's going to happen. All right, and here goes again about the pride. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And that's what happened in the dream, man. Like we read in, in, in 2nd Edris chapter 8, verse 50. For the great pride, they have walked in great pride. Well, look, for the pride of the cities, all right? And that's what, what was happening to the city in the dream. It was getting destroyed. It was troubled, all right? And men were in fear. You know, so bottom line, what's that? It's edifying. My wall's love a ball.